Tess, Cody, what do I do for fun? I like to cook. I get way too much enjoyment out of making poached eggs. I like to skate a bit, I'm trying to get into that. I'm not really like a gamer, but I really love Skate 3 because it's kind of like snowboarding on a PlayStation. Go for some surfs, drive, I like driving. I just drive around for fun. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I think what motivates me is just the enjoyment I get out of being on the snow. Like sometimes you just have moments when you'll be out snowboarding and just hit with this crazy amount of just gratitude that I get to go out and do that every day. And I think that's for me the most motivating thing. You get the craziest emotion changes snowboarding. It'll be the best day ever and you can have the worst day ever. But there were days that are the best days ever where you're just so grateful to be out in the mountains or you might land an amazing trick. I think those feelings is what always motivates me. Pyeongchang for me, yeah, it was pretty hectic, but I did have a really great experience despite getting injured. Definitely super new, super fun, pretty eye-opening what competing on that level, how different it kind of is, uh, especially with like the whole world watching you. I definitely learned a lot out of the whole recovery and coming back onto snow. Probably the biggest thing was patience. It's still sort of like that. It was a good experience, even though at the time I would have said absolutely opposite. The next 12 months are definitely going to be quite a busy time. I'm getting back into competition after my injury. I'm hoping to finish this domestic season off, just get some more tricks back on snow and then head off overseas in October. I'm hoping to be competing throughout the Northern Hemisphere season, mostly in Europe, riding, competing over there.